Hello, my name is uh, Drew Ben Hudgens. I'm a trial attorney here in the state of Florida. I'm talking about the anatomy of an injury trial. Uh, I'd like to uh, direct your attention to what we call direct examination of a witness. Uh, you call a, a, a witness to the stand. It can either be a lay witness, somebody that's witnessed, uh, let's say is an eyewitness to the accident, some person that has certain knowledge about what happened with the injured person, and it could, or it could be an expert witness, somebody that has exceptional knowledge like a medical doctor or a, or a forensics engineer. And all uh, testimony starts out with direct examination. Direct examination is usually open-ended questions such as explain what you did or tell us what you saw. Um, you're not supposed to have any leading questions. Leading questions are for cross-examination. The judge does permit some leading questions early on, just if, if it's a matter of just setting the stage and getting to the point quickly. But one of the most common objections, if you ever see a trial uh, during a direct examination, the other side will jump up and say, objection, your honor, uh, the lawyer is leading the witness. Uh, leading the witness means they're asking a leading question. And a leading question is something like, isn't it true that you saw uh, Joe Smith uh, uh, run a red light. It, it's a question that only gives you the opportunity to give a, a, a yes or no answer. Once again, the judge acts as a referee and makes a decision about whether the questions are appropriate or inappropriate and rules accordingly. There's more, much more. If you have any questions about direct examination during a trial, um, call an experienced lawyer. You can certainly call us here at the Hudgens uh, Law Firm. One call, that's all.